On Wednesday, 6 March 2024, voters in all nine municipalities will have an opportunity to elect the members to constitute their councils. On your ballot, it is your decision and choice for your respective municipality. Exercise it. Let your decision be your choice. Disabled, elderly and pregnant women will be given priority. The voter enters the polling station and shows her voter identification card. The poll clerk announces her name in an audible voice. The first poll clerk verifies the particulars of the voter on the voters list, while the second poll clerk verifies the particulars in the binder. The voter's name is then ruled off from the voters list. The voter is then required to show her right index finger to ensure that she has not yet voted. The voter's right index finger is then dipped up to the first joint in the indelible ink. The voter is then directed to the presiding officer, who then initials a ballot paper and issues it to the voter. The voter then proceeds to the polling booth and marks a cross on the right-hand side of the ballot paper, opposite the name of each candidate of her choice. When the voter has marked her vote, she folds the ballot paper so as to conceal the vote and shows the presiding officer her initials, then places the ballot paper inside the ballot box. The voter then exits the polling station. Remember, you are permitted to vote for one mayor and 10 councillors for Belize City and one mayor and six councillors for Belapan City and Towns. Electors are encouraged to take along their voter identification card to their polling station to facilitate the process. Your ballot paper will be considered void and not counted if it does not have the presiding officer's initial, if the voter has voted for more candidates than there are seats, if the ballot paper is not marked for any candidate, if the ballot paper contains any mark that can identify the voter, and if the ballot paper is unmarked or void for uncertainty. Let your decision be your choice. Your vote matters. A message brought to you by the Election and Boundaries Department.